Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. It is known globally for its annual Groundhog Day celebration held each February 2nd, during which thousands of attendees and international media outlets visit the town for an annual weather prediction by the Groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil. The actual prediction location, Gobbler's Knob, is an adjacent young township. Punxsutawney is the borough which was located 84 miles northeast of Pittsburgh and 50 miles northwest of Altoona, and it was incorporated in 1850. And this is the largest incorporated municipality in Jefferson County. And best of all, Punxsutawney is one of the best places to visit when you're on vacation. And it is also filmed the 1993 movie with Bill Murray called Groundhog Day that I'll be reviewing coming up. Mike here, and welcome to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, home of the world-famous groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil. Oh boy, every year in Punxsutawney, everyone come here to witness the groundhog to predict six more weeks of winter or early spring. Well, in this movie review, I am talking about a 1993 movie with Bill Murray, Groundhog Day. That's right. It's this awesome 1993 classic movie that it is going to be totally awesome to talk about this movie. Now, as you're wondering, Groundhog Day became so popular every February 2nd. And it is almost like in the movie, The Gift of the Magi or Stuck on Christmas like Christmas every day, but it's Groundhog Day every day. So, without any further ado, here's a movie review of Groundhog Day. We start on February 1st. The television weatherman, Phil Connors, reassures his Pittsburgh viewers that an approaching blizzard will miss western Pennsylvania and hit directly to Altoona. Alongside his new producer, Rita Hansen, and cameraman, Larry, Phil travels to Punxsutawney for his annual coverage of the Groundhog Day festivities. He makes no secret of his contempt for the assignment, the small town, and the hicks who live there. He will soon be leaving his station for a new job. On February 2nd, Phil awakens in the Cherry Street Inn bed and breakfast to I Got You Bay playing on the alarm clock radio. And he is on his way to Gobbler's Knob. Unknowingly, there will be a blizzard coming. He heads to report. The Cherry Street Inn. A bed and breakfast type of inn. You'll find many bed and breakfast inns around the United States. Along the way to Gobbler's Knob, he met with Ned Ryerson, 
a guy who watches Phil Connors on television. And Ned knew that Phil was the best weatherman. And Ned also understand that Phil loves coming here every year to Groundhog Day festivities and always shows some humor. <laughs> Phil Connors arrived at Gobbler's Knob and gives out a report to the viewers back home in Pittsburgh. And he asks the viewers a question, does Punxsutawney Phil feel lucky? <laughs> Phil Connors, who reviews the Groundhog on Groundhog Day as he talked about, does Phil feel so lucky? All of Punxsutawney cheered for Punxsutawney Phil as Punxsutawney Phil observes and he saw Shadow and the member of the Groundhog Club read the scroll that there will be six more weeks of winter and Phil Connors gave out a half-hearted report on it and felt a bit sarcasm to it. And after leaving Punxsutawney, heading back to Pittsburgh, it turned out to be a big blizzard that Phil Connors thought it was going to hit directly to Altoona and the troopers told him to return to Punxsutawney. Oh, a blizzard up ahead! Well, Phil Connors is not the weather guy who makes weather. Mother Nature is. So he headed back to Punxsutawney. As Phil Connors desperately searches for a way to leave, he is forced to spend the night in Punxsutawney. And staying at Cherry Street Inn once again. Of course, the next morning, Phil wakes up and notice it is again February 2nd as he experiences deja vu. Kind of like Christmas every day, don't you think? Whoa! To my surprise, it's Groundhog Day again! Like Christmas every day! Indeed, it was February 2nd again. As Phil experiences the previous day's events, repeating exactly, and believes he is experiencing deja vu. He tries again unsuccessfully, leaves Punxsutawney, and though he retires to bed, but the next day is Groundhog Day once again, as he's trying to find the way about it. And of course, he has to get used to this time loop. That's what he's facing. And it's kind of like Groundhog Day every day in Phil Connor's life. Oh, on and on and on and on. The day kept repeating. As Phil confides his situation to Rita, Rita suggests Phil to get a neurologist and who in turn directs him to a psychologist, neither of which can explain his experiences, as Phil convinces him that he is stuck in a Groundhog Day time loop. Phil goes to play bowling with the locals, Gus and Ralph. Even though Phil wants to have a good time playing bowling. As he gets drunk at the same time. And then leads the police on a high speed car chase around Punxsutawney. Before being arrested and in prison. The next morning, Phil awakens in a Cherry Street in bed and breakfast. On a repeated time loop, of course, as he finally felt safe. Wow! That time loop saved him from getting him into trouble. 
Other cool things about Groundhog Day? The coolest thing about this movie is that Phil tries not to make the same mistake like in the previous times, and he successfully made it. There, he met a local girl who is really an interest to observe the Groundhog Day and talks about its festivities as they met at Gobbler's Knob. Of course, the local girl's name is Nancy Taylor. As Phil decided to be friends with her and talk about day-to-day -day facts of Groundhog Day in this time loop. Indeed, Phil observes and decided to take a bag full of quarters to do something about it. Phil met with Nancy at a movie theater and they had a great time as they dressed up in different characters. Phil Connors realizing that there are no consequences for his actions as deciding to experiment and spending loops about it. Phil Connors using his increasing knowledge of the day's events and the town's residents to manipulate circumstances to his advantage, eventually he focuses on seducing Rita, using the loops to learn more about and manipulate her. No matter what steps he takes, Rita rebuffs his advances, particularly when Phil tells her to love her. Of course, Rita asserts that he does not even know her, and they decided to do something fun, like dining out together, and building a snowman, and having fun in a snowball fight. And that is one of the coolest things in the movie that I really, really love. I love building a snowman and putting up a snowball fight. I will do that in real time. Wow, they build a snowman and put up a snowball fight. That's what I like to do in the winter time. Even though I never build a snowman and put up a snowball fight in real life, I will do that eventually. Anyway, Phil and Rita began to dance in the gazebo and he showed her the Cherry Street Inn room that he is staying on and she really adores Phil of what she is outstanding to him and decided to go in some ways to stay in a romantic way. In the next loop, Phil Connors watches Jeopardy at the Cherry Street Inn lounge and he answered the questions correctly on the lakes and rivers category of Jeopardy and they applaud him. And he kept destroying alarm clocks every loop after loop after loop until one loop he decided to do something with Punxsutawney Phil the Groundhog. Phil gradually becomes depressed and desperate wait for to escape the time loop as he kidnaps Punxsutawney Phil and driving them both off a cliff on a high speed chase with the Groundhog Club and the police. Oh, he stole a groundhog? <laughs> Is this the way of teaching a lesson? To predict the weather well? I don't think so. And he is trying to find a way to get out of this Groundhog Day loop. Wow, look at him go. Trying to chase Punxsutawney Phil to get it back. As Phil and the Groundhog Punxsutawney Phil enjoys the joyride. And eventually ended up in the construction site. As the truck goes overboard and crash lands on a pit. 
And this chase ends with the truck explodes. Killing Phil and Ponsatoni Phil in the process. And then he wakes up at the Cherry Street Inn again. And Phil Connors is alive and well. And in one loop, he takes the toaster from the breakfast area and puts it in a, in a bathtub that causes a power outage and a shortage. Like, what the heck? It's so funny because Groundhog Day contains romance and comedy together. Phil Connors eventually tries to explain his situation to Rita once again, using his detailed knowledge of the day to accurately predict events. Convinced, Rita spends the rest of that day's loop with Phil. She encourages him to think of the loops as a blessing instead of a curse. As they lie on the bed together at night, Phil realized that his feelings for Rita have become sincere. Aww, isn't it awesome that romantic couples get together at a bed, at a bed and breakfast inn? When Phil Connors wakes alone on February 2nd, he decides to use his knowledge of the loop to change himself and others. He saves people from deadly accidents and misfortunes, and he learns to play the piano, sculpt ice, and able to speak French. Regardless of his actions, he is unable to save a homeless old man from dying of natural causes. Looks like Phil decides to do a good deed. Wow, look at Phil Connors go, sculpting ice, and also he's trying to help people and doing some things that he could ever accomplish. Oh, I like how he helps an old man out. And during one iteration of the loop, Phil reports on the Groundhog Day festivities with such eloquence that other news crews stop working to listen to his speech, which amazes Rita. And he would like to help the people of Punxsutawney, PA, and he would love to spread goodness and happiness to all as he continues his day helping the people of Punxsutawney. It is important to know that to help people to those in need is a good thing, just like you do in real life. Same thing goes with Groundhog Day, on this day where Phil Connors loves to help people in Punxsutawney to make up for misdeeds. That night, Rita witnesses Phil's expert piano playing skills at the adoring townsfolk regale her with stories of his good deeds. Oh boy, Phil can play the piano and entertain. I'm glad that Phil Connors performed very well with the band. That really impressed Rita. And Phil and Rita fell in love, as it was impressed by his apparent overnight transformation. Rita successfully bids for him at a charity bachelor auction. Ned Ryerson congratulates Phil Connors and Rita for all the accomplishments of what they could accomplish. Phil carves an ice sculpture in Rita's image and tells her that no matter what happens, even if he is trapped in the Groundhog Day loop forever, he is finally happy because he loves her. They share a kiss and retire to Phil's room at Cherry Street in Bed and Breakfast. 
on the eve of Groundhog Day. Oh boy, Phil and Rita are in love. Now that was awesome. The next morning, Phil Connors woke up and found that Rita is still in bed with him and the radio banter has changed. When he looks out the window, there's snow on the ground as it is now February 3rd the day after Groundhog Day. And the time loop is broken at last. And Phil and Rita were fallen in love. And they decided to live in Punxsutawney forever. Groundhog Day is an awesome movie that you're gonna love this awesome romance comedy movie of all time. Finally! Groundhog Day is over and it's February 3rd. Phil and Rita would love to live in Punxsutawney. So in my final thoughts for the movie Groundhog Day, this movie is totally awesome, and it's a classic, and it has comedy and romance features. This is going to be so awesome. If you watched this movie before, you'll feel like it's one day all the time. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie 9. This movie is a must-see for Groundhog Day, and you are going to love this. Thank you all for watching this awesome movie review here at Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer. Don't forget, I'm always here and always around. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions, or you just want to talk to me, send me email here at agentmikemtr at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to get in touch with you. This is Mike, and I'll be seeing you in the next movie and TV show review here at Agent Mike's Movie TV Show Reviewer. Goodbye, everyone. Happy Groundhog Day. Make sure to check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash dragonagentproductions. And let me know in the comments by leaving them requests and questions. And don't forget to press thumbs up and become a fan. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash dragonageprod1. This way you can subscribe and view my videos and leave a question or request or comment. And don't forget to press thumbs up. You can even leave a message on my blog here at hmycup1.tumblr.com. This way, I love to hear from you all. So, for more information about Punxsutawney PA, Google it and look it up and do some research. This is Agent Mike, and see you in the next movie and TV show review. Goodbye, everyone.